All right, and so now we're out here in the sun a little bit. I got me a frozen lemonade. It's what we survive off out here. And we're up here at the uh, feed tractors. It's a bunch of red this year. We don't usually talk about red tractors, but uh, it is a theme this year, so we better talk about them. So uh, this year, I'm not sure if, uh, if it's like the 100th anniversary of Fama. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, this year they're uh, doing the F series. So um, right here they have a really nice uh, F30s right here. A few more, there's a, uh, right over there you can see there's an F30 high crop. Uh, <laughs> Walk over here with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, over here. And I just saw a sign, it is the 100 year, Petey. Yep, so uh, this is an F30, that's an F20, and then right beside it, I think that's an F10 or an F14. would be a... F14? Back originally when uh, they started tractor pulling in North Carolina, uh, it was one of these tractors. And it was like the king of the tractor pull. Uh, there wasn't nothing around that could beat the OF30 in the tractor pull until uh, my grandpa brought out the our 38G we have, and it happened to beat the OF30. So. <laughs> But anyway, they're, they're a neat old tractor. Uh, it's got a drop axle, which is uh, really helps with traction and everything. And then uh, over here, so this tractor right here is the second generation. This is the M Farmall, and uh, this is a really nice M Farmall too. And uh, this is what took the place. Um, of the F30, so you could imagine that being unstyled M. And this is a styled M, but they, they, they named them two different things. Um, this is a pretty common tractor. You see these quite a bit. Um, they're real competitive in tractor pulling and all that, which we do. And cousin Josh has one. Yeah, Josh has the one with the duels on it. And uh, over here. This is uh, the third generation. This is the uh, 806 farm all. They made the 1206 and the 806. Um, Did they come out as diesels or this one just diesel? Yeah, these were mostly all diesels. Um, I'm pretty sure all the 806s were diesels, but what this means, they made this number, it's 80 horsepower, six cylinders. And uh, so this was like, uh, you can see the hood. I'll show you uh, a newer tractor. It's got the flat hood and it still says farm on. And uh, over here is the fourth. This is the 1066, so it's similar in size. Uh, it goes the same way. It's 106 horsepower, six cylinders. Um, you can see it's got a more of a styled hood and uh, different things like that. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with the whole farm malls and international thing, but. Uh, really nice tractors out here and then they, they brought out a, uh, a new case uh, international just to kind of show you um, what they uh, make now so it's 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 a neat little exhibit out here um, we're about to go show you all some uh, other red tractors uh, there's a local farm and the, all they farm with is tractors just like this uh, the big internationals from the 70s and it's a uh, really neat they keep them restored and they keep them running to uh, do modern farming with pretty much so we'll be over there in a little bit Farms, tractors, and uh, there's nobody right here. This is 
minute, but uh, we're going to see if we can go find uh, Kim, which is uh, somebody we know that from Friendship Farms, and we might get him to talk a little bit more about them. But uh, these are their tractors. Uh, I'll show you around. So they got this really nice 1566 with duels on it. And uh, right here is the, uh, this was the older one, it's a 1456. So it's still got the, uh, kind of the flat hood like the uh, farm all did. And then they changed to the 1566. And I do believe they made a 1466. Probably, I'm sure they have one um, around here somewhere. Uh, this is an 856. I'm actually trying to get one of these tractors um, from a local farmer. So that's a neat tractor to have. And then here's their probably one of their most popular tractors. It's a 1568. So you can see it. 156 six horsepower eight cylinder so it's a big international V8 and they keep this thing running good that's a mean sign mean sign rig hopefully if we can find uh find our guy here he can uh, start it up for us and uh here's 1256 Here's another 966. They have. They just have. Just take your pick of which one's your favorite, because they have just about all of them. Um, I'm not sure if this is there or not. This is a 756. It is theirs. Yep, 756. So that's the little brother of the uh, big uh, six-cylinder internationals. This is our biggest boy. They still farm with this one, it's a 3588. Big old, big old bend in the middle. She was, she was made in, it's kind of weird, it was made in the same generation of those other tractors pretty much. It's a little bit newer, I believe. But uh, that's, a, that's a big old boy. Um, I'm not sure the horsepower on them, probably around 250, 300 horsepower, I would say. You never have to wonder where Papa is if you lose him here. Because if the sawmill's running, he's sitting right beside of it. There he is. They doing it to suit you, Papa? Uh, they doing it to suit you? No. No? It's always the same answer. What's slow? Too slow. Okay. <laughs> Watches it though, even though he doesn't, he doesn't like it. <laughs> He'd rather be pulling the lever. Denton's new pulling track. We don't have a tractor that qualifies for pulling under Oppa in competition, so we just decide to watch these pulls instead of actually pulling in them. We're not going to be in, but we're going to go buy it anyway. 